The land between is actually unique geologically in Ontario because you have this remarkable transition from the shield rocks to the north. This is a metamorphic rock by which we mean it's been subject to great heat and pressure. And if you look at the mineralogy in the rock, it tells us that it was forming at least 20 kilometers underground. And by underground, we mean deep beneath high mountains called the Grenville Mountains, and they would have been bigger than today's Himalayas. So in walking over this surface, we were actually looking at the roots of these deep mountains, and we've lost at least 20 kilometers of rock. By and large, the surface that we see on the southern margin of the shield is much the same as it was 800 million years ago. And as you come to the south off the shield, as you drop down in elevation, you get onto the leading edge of the limestones. And these are the remains of ancient sea floors about 450 million years ago. And if I pick up a piece of the limestone, I can see it's full of fossils. This is referred to as a bioclastic limestone, where the entire rock is made up of the remains of fossils. And just here in the land between, the limestone is completely devoid of soil. As we go further south, they become thickly covered. And it's possible that the ice was moving sediment to the south, slowly stripping whatever sediment was here. But also, there's been a lot of meltwater running across these surfaces. And it's probably washed these completely clean of sediment. And in some places, you see the actual contact where limestone is resting right on the shield, and that's called an unconformity. And there's many hundreds of millions of years that are lost between the formation of the shield and the first sedimentary rocks that are deposited on top. So it's only in this very narrow strip where you actually see this junction between two worlds. 